welcome back to a brand new vlog guys we are back in italy but this time we are not in rome no we are in, in the lombardy province and we are in milan and here you have the domo di milano which is the second largest in europe even second largest in the world after the cathedral in sevilla and i don't count uh, the one in St. Peter's because that's not a cathedral that's a basilisk let's head inside so this is the inside of the Duomo di Milano it's uh, 157 meters long that way and it's 92 meters wide this way uh, the building started in 1386 but it was only finished in 1950 uh, it's fully made of white marble and as I said, it's one of the biggest in the world, only behind the cathedral in Sevilla. <laughs> so this is the rooftop of the cathedral on top of the highest spine over there is the Madonnina which is the, which has to be the highest statue in Milan but in 2015 the Allianz Tower over there was built at 209 meters so this one is at 139.5 meters high. Now what did they do with the Allianz Tower? They put a Madonnina on top. So it's still the highest, highest statue in Milan. So this is the second cathedral of Milan. Cathedral of football. It's the, the Rossonieri. Call it San Siro. And the Nerazzurri call it Giuseppe Meazza. It's the home of AC Milan and Internazionale. And just like the statue on top of, of the cathedral, the derby between those teams is called the Derby della Madonnina, named after the statue. Let's check the inside and the museum. So this is the Internazionale side of the museum with all the shirts. Don't know where they have the trophies. I haven't seen them yet in the museum. Maybe inside the stadium. And this is the Milan side of the museum. <laughs>
Is this the first time for everybody, right? Okay, do you remember upstairs in the museum, AC Milan side and Inter side, as in the stadium? It's hard to believe because it's blue, but to the second blue tier, this is AC Milan side for AC Milan Ultras and it's called Curva Sud. Second green, Inter side for Inter Ultras and it's called Curva North. Northern stand, southern stand because of the oh, sun exposition. Always in the shade because they had the sun on their back, always with the sun in front of them. Because Inter came here later than AC Milan. The, uh, we started to share stadium just in 1947 when the old stadium of the city was erased by the bombs of the Second World War. Now, if you are going to Castello Sforzesco, behind the castle there is Sempione Park, you can see the Arena Civica, the old stadium, because we rebuilt it. But after the war, Inter and no stadium, they moved to San Siro. It, it, this stadium was really different at that time, just the first year without seats, without colors, southern in the shade occupied northern vacancy. Same reason why next to the stands we have the benches. AC Milan bench here, Inter bench over there. Next to the benches we have the round boxes for family of the players, injured players or VAP. Not for say, just we need an invitation to sit here. Up on there, this is the main stand. At the middle we have 15 little living rooms. From number one to number 15, sky boxes. At the corner, sky lounges. Sky boxes, sky lounges, ground boxes, new benches, new tunnel. Everything was a mandatory condition to get the five UEFA stars uh, in the occasion of the final of the Champions League 2016. We got it, but we had to reduce the capacity of the stadium. Earlier, 84,000 people, now 75,936. The biggest stadium in Italy and fifth in Europe. And last, around the pitch, it's fake grass, synthetic, but the pitch is hybrid, mixed. I mean, the grass is real. It's just real and it covers the 85% of the survey. The remaining 15 is a nylon rope swing up together carpets of real grass. The gardeners are here every day and they cut the grass every three days and the grass must be 2.3 centimeters long. Common decision between Milan and Inter. Soil and grass, five centimeters. Then we have 25 of sand, five of stones, draining system. And underneath we have tubes of the heating system, okay? That's it. Do you agree with me that when we are on the same level, the pitch seems smaller than in TV, no? But of course it's regular size. 105 meters long per 68 meters wide. As you can see, everything in the stadium is red now. Uh, the stadium is of course shared between Inter and AC Milan. But they change it every week. So tomorrow AC Milan plays at home and next week Inter plays at home and they have to change everything. It takes about three to four days to change everything. So last week Inter played home on Tuesday and AC Milan played home on Wednesday, so they had to do everything in just one day. Quite a job to do the whole stadium. They change everything, even the banners over there. Everything gets changed. As you saw in the video in the metro, we are back at Estadio San Siro because we are going to the match AC Milan versus Sassuolo. Let's head inside the stadium and enjoy the game.
game. 2-5 loss, sadly. Was not in there. First I thought it was. Giroud scored, cancelled. And came Barardi. He was too good today. We'll go have some dinner now. Hope you liked the video. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.